15. Uh, we're almost done with day two in terms of getting the completion of it. We have round seven upcoming for the Swiss of the 128-man bracket. But before we end up doing that, we have to draw the pairs. And so normally we let you sit there and watch a ball of yarn with a candle burning away. But instead, we decided to use the time wisely by putting together an impromptu show match. And who better to do it than Eka from Cloud9 and Purple from Team Archon. And of course, uh, I am joined by two guest commentators here to bring alongside who are really good and familiar with really wacky decks and, and awkward scenarios. It's uh, Super JJ and Nyria. Both of you are known to experiment a lot with decks on your own stream. How are you guys doing? Yeah, doing great. I uh, well, as good as you can be, yeah. right? <laughs> it's not being Recently experimented with a lot of decks. Like last month was the most creative for me. I even played OTK Priest. Again. Oh, yeah? The inner fire stuff? No. Uh, well, uh, well, with Emperor. Oh, Mind oh Blast. okay, gotcha. Yeah, it's like full cycle deck. Yeah. So, actually, I'm so excited to see some of this stuff. Well, you made like the Maligos Warlock really popular. Like, you perfect. Yeah. Oh, that was you. Yeah, yeah. it was actually oh. him. Cool. I mean, I just came out of nowhere for one day, and a lot of people really loved it. Yeah, so. it was me and uh, one Russian guy. Yeah. Uh, we uh, changed uh, one deck from the French guy who had uh, sa this idea with Maligos. <laughs> Do you even know their it's names? Awesome. <laughs> the guys that you were talking about? <laughs> uh, uh. If you know the uh, player Stanodachi. And, uh, yeah, I love Stanodachi. Hmm? Yeah, he's, he's awesome. It's awkward for them. Yeah, it really <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah, okay. it, whatever. Oh, I was expecting you to be like, oh yeah, well no you don't know him, but... Well, now I do. Thank you for putting it on my radar. Okay, so okay. what's going to happen, guys, with the show match is uh, they're going to be playing classes that they auto-complete. They click uh, finish the deck and let it automatically complete. That's cool. That's what I do on stream right. sometimes. As you see, both players uh, picked Warlock because they like try harding. It's like the best deck with random cards. You I think guess. so? It's got so many wasteful cards oh, man, like Corruption. This, this Hungry so. Crab is really good. I like this deck a lot. Like, is it like made by the innkeeper? Uh, no, is it? Oh, you mean just in general? Yeah, I mean, um, probably. Oh wow, innkeeper decks are pretty good, bro. Wow, Maligos. All right. Oh, he's got the Maligos Cobra shot synergy. How much See? damage is like <laughs> five? It's it's eight damage. It's a Ragnar shot to the face and to a minion. Don't you think it's a bit broken? Like, <laughs> I don't know if you can do that in competitive. You know, I was told about um, a funny story about how Cobra shot originally, when they were designing the card, did four damage. Four damage to a minion and four damage to face. And oh. Blizzard realized it was too strong, so they ended up nerfing to three. So, so three. we added quick shots, an even stronger card, right? Yeah, uh, that's kind of what Cobra shot was. That doesn't really... And I, I kind of imagine my world every night of Cobra Shot being <laughs> 4 damage to a minion into the face, and I realized that's not a world I want to live in. So thank you, Blizzard, for avoiding that. For choosing a new card, right? Yeah. Well, can you imagine? Like, how, do you think Cobra Shot would be legit if it was 4-4 four 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 instead of 3-3? Three three? No, I would. I no. mean, I wouldn't play Cobra Shot with this design, even if it would be like 4 mana. It just sucks too much. It's not, it doesn't work because like, it doesn't fit to the tempo of a hunter, I guess. Like, Quick Shot doesn't yeah. fit. That's you need either control, either phase damage, but not both at the same time. Okay, let's see what, what what are we having here? Like explosive shot? I don't know. I like this card. Explosive shot's pretty underrated in arena. It's it's so sick. It looks like Ecop has a much better deck. If <laughs> if we mean like Quartermaster Argus, Illidan. Illidan I don't know, man. If you can somehow get Maligos out with explosive shot, you literally can kill anything in the game. Yeah, that's true. I mean, Maligos Cobra Shot, I'm watching for too bad, personally. Yeah. Like, I like that a lot. Wait, what Argus did here? He just buffed Token. A sec, a sec. <laughs> <laughs> See, Explosive Shot? He did two Cobra Shots. <laughs> I mean, imagine that tempo. Anything he plays with three health or less, he's going to be able to completely oh, divine destroy. Favor. Oh. Wasn't Nightblade, like, part of an aggro face warrior? I haven't seen yeah, this card Yeah, I mean, I always thought about putting Nightblade and just anything that I wanted to hit the face. That's some something I miss sometimes, like cards like actually Nightblade or something new in the tournament. Well, I, I mean... Actually, Nightblade was played uh, a lo long time before in the Face Mage. Oh, look at that. Look at that Oh, yeah, value. the Face Mage long ago. Look at... Wow. 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 <laughs> How is that fair? Well, he's got, he's got two Cobra shots, so in two turns you can kill Illidan. Oh, Bo. Can he play both? 
I think one player here oh, has the no. favor of the innkeeper, though. That's like, like wow. Oh man, I just remember, well, guys. This game is really bad. <laughs> like it's terribly one-sided. I think probably. Oh Greg my is like, god. He's losing. No, he, uh, he can. Oh. He's he's pushing for the win. Oh, uh, wow. Bless in the champion, I guess. On Illidan, 14 damage. Edie. Oh my <laughs> god! <gosh, laughs> right. Oh he's, wow. Is he dead? Was well, like. <laughs> okay, that's getting fancy. Uh, blessed champion. 22. Is. It's one off. Oh. Yes, yeah, 22 yeah, damage. I don't know. I I think I. This is a nice combo. Like he gets a 2-1 as well. Like. Wow. Hey, I thought this was also the autofill, not pre-made decks. I have one question. If you play like Illidan in Warrior and you have like Warstone Commander, are we getting charged to two ones? Yeah, I think so. That's nice. Yeah, you can play Warstone Commander with Illidan, technically, and get charged minions. Uh, yeah, That's well, pretty awesome. Or you just play patrons. <laughs> 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 All right, check out this amazing synergy. Okay. One cover shut down. Uh, he was six off lethal. Oh, you can't see it's really worth the amount of money goes. Did you know that you can't uh, taunt uh, Illidan on the right side? Yeah, because apparently if you put a Sun Fairy Protector to the right of Illidan, it toss the two one instead. Yeah. <laughs> That's such a weird interaction. I think it's because the battle cry activates before the minion comes into play. Yeah. And uh, that's why, like for example, that's why SI7 Agent gets copied by Mirror Entity, because the battle true. cry or the whatever effect and uh, happens before and the And I was edge always the salty field. about that, because yeah. you're like, oh, let's coin to the SI, and then, okay, now he has an SI yeah, as three, well. Three. On the oh, board. wait, his but tempo is out of control. Seems legit for a two drop bomb. <laughs> okay, so Clockwork Giant and Priest. He kept mind control tech. Oh. oh wow. Is it in a Fire Priest yeah. versus Milro? <laughs> <laughs> Mill Rogue is really cool. I wish that deck was legit. Why? Why? Why is Mill Rogue? Is I it just the wrong meta I for I it? I knew somebody who played it to legend. Well, I meant I meant in a tournament setting. What? What is it missing to be um, tournament viable? I guess all all combat decks. Uh, oh, I mean, uh, you need to survive whole deck of your opponent, and it's so hard. Yeah. And if you don't get uh, your cards in the right time, you're just going to lose. I think. Yeah, I think I got enough. not bad cards, but Emperor Taurus and what? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I want him to just copy Van Cleef three times. That'd oh. be awesome. But oh. wait, why? That's a lot less fun. Oh, maybe he wants to take uh, a lot of spare parts and yeah. then play Van Cleef. Oh, maybe. I was also hoping a lot of Nerubar Weblord, so he can't play any minions oh, with Battle Cry. Look, look, <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Imagine if there were four more. <laughs> he can never funny. play these minions. Oh wow! All right, now this is actually starting to get funny. Wow. Last game was a little bit just kind of like uh, a favor of. Oh, remember when Nux came out? Uh, people played in Miracle Rogue this Nerubian Weblord. Yeah. Oh yeah, and it worked. Like, I think Forsen did it in his deck, and it worked pretty good. Like wow. yeah, because the purpose of it was to block other people from being able to do yeah, it. Yeah, uh, and then Zoo you was shadow popular. It. Zoo was popular. Yeah, and it, like Zoo had so many battle cries. Wow, Clockwork. yeah, and in handlock too, it messed up a bunch of handlock. Yeah, because <laughs> you <laughs> drop new or before turn four, and they can't play Twilight Drake. Isn't like a giant in the wrong hand here, like. <laughs> No, 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 because Rogue's going to vanish, and then he puts he's all the minions? cards back to his hands, and then spare parts, So right? he's basically countering himself with the vanish. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow, he's rushing him down here. I just remember these moments when you kill the Shredder and you actually wanted to drop a free drop, you have free mana, Yeah. and when the mana ref or the weblord comes down, <laughs> 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 smiling at you, and you're like, yeah, hey. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what card is that on the far right? I don't, think I, I don't think I've seen that card. Oh, yeah, it's this one for taunt and charge. Yeah. Gnomish in Wait, it's got charge and taunt? It's broken. For three mana, yeah. <laughs> 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 it's basically like mini Alec here, then, right? It's yeah. like our. Uh, our uh, gr uh, gorilla. Gorilla? Oh, Silverback Patriarch. Yeah, Patriarch. Yeah. But with charge. With yeah. charge. Like no, and no beast. Is it a mech? No, uh, it's I a don't gnome. Think it's a gnome. Oh. You play that into cold oh, blood. Okay, okay. Easy game. Dude, this Nerubar Weblord has actually messed up the game a ton. Ah, a bit, yeah. Free cop. That's that's I pretty mean, Look at this infantry. He's yeah. Oh. Look at that. That is that is what I wanted to see here. Uh, holy crap! But he's Ac got the sap. <laughs> actually, well, you can play this card in OTK Priest, Inner Fire Priest. Oh yeah, that and Stormwind Knight. The Stormwind Knight, you yeah. dump, you inner fire, and then, um, or you, you divine spirit and inner fire. 
but this is cheaper. Yeah, I mean, look at the tempo, man. The the mage, the I mean, not the mage. The priest can't really keep up with this. I don't think this rap lord is not fair. It's like, oh, okay. So he needs to mind vision of vanish. What? But he can, he will just replay it. Yeah, that's true. No, I I prefer this play instead. So what is what I, what I, what does he want to get with that? Yeah, the, the Maybe vanish. A shadow step for Leroy. No, that sucks. Battle on mage. Um. Oh wait, he can't do the old combo of Leroy mind control tech. That used to be so broken. I never. You never seen that? No. You Leroy and then mind control tech whatever minions. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a well, but you can take a, one of the two minions on the left. Oh wow, you actually played it? Me? I, I don't remember why it existed. I, I think it was because like Zoo was really popular at one point oh, and people were playing Leroy Power Overwhelming. It was actually used in constructed. I never saw it. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't like super it was just like when you got when the meta got too cyclical, like where you're trying to out counter your opponent's counter, people would play like oh, that's uh, happens, mind control yeah. tech and stuff like that's that. That's pretty cool though. I like it. <laughs> New stuff in the meta. So MC Tech is useless. This Weblord did a lot of work. Yeah. But you have a one for taunt with charge, which is also not easy to deal with, right? <laughs> <laughs> <That's like laughs> yeah. It's the only option here, right? I think so. I mean, you're pretty much dead to anything. everything. <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't have like burst in the hand, and maybe maybe it works. Like he's not dead. And you have to hero power, kind of. Yeah, I think it's better to play two small minions and yeah, that's true. Dalaran mage. So wait. Yeah, but I have a feeling that his opponent's about to draw a Murloc, so he's gonna regret that. That's a good draw. No, see, like that that card's way too strong to be. I don't in know this what, deck. What, what the innkeeper is doing there. It's not that fair. All right, there's gotta be some plays here. I think I think it's time to Leroy my control. <laughs> oh wait, we forgot about the new Leroy. That sucks. Uh, he's down again, right? Yeah. Oh, light spawn. I haven't seen this card for ages. All right, I think you drop. Ikop was, was not mm. pleased by this Belcher. No, I mean, actually, it's the Belcher would have been okay if he took it, if he with a mind control tech. He yeah. could play Leroy and then mind control tech and steal the Belcher These and then, like, trade down the board. But he can't because he can of the Weblord. Oh. The Weblord yeah. is too Maybe too he can, expensive. like, kill the Web. No. It doesn't all right, all right this is what you do. You play Cult Master. Okay. You suicide this... Uh, 2 1 in. I, like I guess 1 2 is okay, yeah. but you, you get Shadow Madness. D1. Uh, it doesn't quite work, right? Yeah, you uh. still get Shadow Madness right now. No. No. <laughs> it's okay. actually funny. You see so many, like, strange cards, and. Yeah, okay. So, you know, the Web Lord actually has been really messed him up that entire game. Because he had, like, half his pay on had he like, Didn't cry. he have, like, two Web Lords? Was he dropped one in the No, beginning. he vanished. The, uh, I, uh, that's yeah, true. Yeah. He vanished. That's true. Yeah, he vanished so that way he can heal it back up to full health. It's actually funny. <laughs> like, if these two drops sometimes uh. come out of the shredder, like, you're really struggling in the game. Like, you have, can't yeah. play your Azure Drakes or... Well, that, that was the thing, right? Because yeah. it was anti-handlock tech. If you can't Whoa. play Ooh. anything. That's how it look. Drain life. Oh, the succubus! Actually, I played a bunch of even tournaments, uh, fun tournaments with random decks. The best classes to play are uh, rogue, warrior, and uh, warlock. Wait, warlock because what? you have in drawing giant. Rogue because you can uh, squeeze hero power and like out tempo your opponent very yeah, fast. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and warrior because it has uh, very strong weapons. If you get weapons uh, out of this randomness, <laughs> it just so it's basically face warrior. Then yeah, I feel yeah, like face warrior. <laughs> I feel like Paladin's the worst because you get a bunch of bad secrets, and also sometimes you oh yeah, the spell really not yeah. good, right? Yeah, like like you don't always get blessed champion value. <laughs> oh, yeah, mage true. is okay. -ish. Yeah, mage feels like it's pretty good because their spells are very versatile. Yeah, and pin as well. Yeah, the hero power is pretty clutch. Well, that's we're having a, I feel like an aggro mirror, like too really fast. Like I don't know what this warlock deck is. Well, it seems like mid range value lock. There was a deck once upon a time where Kalento hit number one legend. Oh yeah, mid and he used to play yeah. every charger in the game and every heal that warlock had. I'm just asking. Oh, and all he yeah, did was OTK. play. All he did was play power overwhelming with faceless manipulator, and the goal was to get any charger with it. So he get like Bluegill Warrior, or he get like, yeah. um, what was another ridiculous charge? Like you eat like Wolf Riders, and always kind of 
to tap until the double power of overwhelming face is gone. Oh man. Like, which deck didn't claim to like. It was so. He even made like. Nobody played Paladin, he played Paladin 2 rank 1 legend. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Ecop just needs one damage to the face. Yeah, it's true. It's, that might come down here. Yeah. Okay. Purple is struggling, though, but. Uh, whose turn is it? I think Purple's. It's Ecop's turn? Okay. Ecops. Oh, yeah. Remember the time when Drain Life was actually a good card in Handlock? What? Uh, no. You mean the very beginning of beta? Uh, no, in the end of the... No, I mean it was like uh, December, one year ago. Oh, was it in Handlock? Yeah, it, uh, Kalento played in his version as well. That's crazy. Twitch I, 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 I must feel like I'm missing something. When was it really good in Handlock? Yeah, I never... I don't remember. You're, you're totally well. trolling me. This is like the Ukrainian sense of humor. <laughs> I don't, I don't no. get it right no, now. No, really. Like, people who played it a lot uh, remember it. Oh! Wow, wow. I think, wow, wow. Top deck in Inrecon. Yeah, and Thanos was actually in Handlock deck as well. I know. Okay, that was actually legit. But I don't know if he's trolling us, well. It's like... Well, see, look, that was like Cobra Shot, but it went the other way. Yeah. And now you're telling me that you wouldn't play Cobra Shot. But it's three mana. I actually tr yeah. I tried it a bit. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay, but Twisting never might turn around the match if it's the true. board swings against purple here. There was a time when Twisting Nether was oh blood him man was pretty sick. Actually, when I did Maligos Lock, I played uh, one uh, like two days with uh, Twisting, Twisting Nether, Nether, and it was re really cool. It worked. Yeah, it worked. That's but cool. Well, Twisting Nether does work if you play it, but does it work in your deck? I don't know. The funniest thing I is actually if you yeah. if you play like Nefarian and you get Twisting Nether, sometimes it really works because you don't see this card in competitive too much. But if. If Ooh, Ecop wow. were to burp, sneeze, or fart really loud in church in Nebraska, he would actually break the law. That, huh, I didn't know that. And I, and I don't think I wanted to know that. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he picks up two really bad demons. I think he was hoping for a Void Caller so Malgans can come out. Oh, this he miscounted mana. <laughs> Uh-oh, that's awkward. This wall deck reminds me of the deck you played against Rachel on, on the Cups once. Yeah, which was rigged. They gave her Nurse Dormu. I didn't get anything. I think you got the worst deck, bro. It's like I did. It was rigged, right? Yeah, it was rigged. Oh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, your world deck was so bad. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't remind me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Anima Golem. All right. That card is so awful. But I think that card's pretty cool, too. Why it's awful? Imagine you play like Haunted Creepers, uh, Nerubin Eggs, and you play this Anima Gold in this form. <laughs> That's true. Actually, in this format, it might actually be sick if you can get that. Oh my goodness. Patron Warlock? The what? <laughs> patron Warlock. It's like. So you can drain life your own patron and spawn other Oh, patron. Mortal Coil? Yeah. Mortal Coil. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. Oh, wow. Okay, that's actually like broken. That's you a huge jump of swing here. And Whoa, he got Storm Tusk Spore still one mana. So Ecom is going for the board control right now. Is he going for it? Whoa. I don't know if he wants to attack him in case he has Molten Giant. So no, I like this he path. didn't get board control. No. <laughs> no, he has no chance to win. I don't know. Corruption. That's a spell. That's a top deck. He uh, saves the Fairy Dragon because he gets to trade it easily. Yeah, I think so. Double implosion on your Ooh, Drake. On your Stone Toast Boar. So I would play it on a Drake, come on. So he dies anyways in the end of turn. No, no, no. Play Stone Toast Oh, he can play it on the Watcher because he doesn't have silence in his deck probably. Oh, yeah, that's true. But yeah, on, on the Drake it's fine. Just to get another bunch of. <laughs> These oh, decks are just imps. epic. This is pretty interesting. Um, you can actually Shadow Bolt your own minion. I didn't. I never found a, a use for but that. But you can't that's execute them, right? Shadow Bolt was used to uh, in Handlock as well. Yeah, that's yeah. True. Okay, now yeah, I, I can remember that. that. I do remember that. It was that. a legit card. That was pretty decent. Uh, Consider again. Yeah, that, that's. I mean, Ecop clearly tried hard. He put Malganus and a bunch of demons in his deck, and he got wrecked. He got wrecked by Twisting Nether. by the Innkeeper. Yeah. And says demons. So let's see. Like you have two one for Ecop, right? Uh, two one for purple. I purple, yeah. And Ecop has to win with, or is it two one for Ecop? Yeah, you might be right. That's yeah, it. purple lost because you yeah. played. Yeah, 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 I yeah, thought yeah, so, you're right? right. Oh man. Oh my. Look at this try like, hard. Look, look, he keeps look at this putting Dr. Doctor Boom. Boom in his deck. 
How much did he? Oh, Cold Pet. Ah, that's I right. I tried to make a Beast Hunter. It didn't work. I always got like didn't something Purple different. Also, really try a Cold Pet deck. I remember him and Firebear were talking. Yeah, Actually, yeah, first, yeah, I tried. first time I saw this card, I thought it was so it will summon a random beast. I mean, it will you will get a random beast. Oh, from in your hand. That would be really good, right? Yeah, would be like the inner way of hunter. Uh, hunter is not strong enough anyway. And actually, <laughs> I was thinking about that that y you like draw these uh, two beasts with Gazrilla and Charger, and like make OTK. Whoa, that's crazy! Yeah. yeah, but then I was so disappointed when I saw, saw actual. That's really sad. I, I I like the card design on its own. Huh. Oh, 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 he's got more, he's got hunger crab on his own tide collar. But where's the gnomish infantry again? Big coin. I mean, this is like a strictly better spider tank. <laughs> oh wow! Combo wombo. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually yeah. hilarious. And that was the best play E cops ever done. <laughs> oh wow! Shots. I mean, just kind of look at that. There's nothing better than that on turn two. I'm I'm just talking about how powerful that card is. Does he even ha run enough beasts? He got. Oh, whoa, 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 that's what the heck? <laughs> wait, wait, it costs four less? Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, but it's, yeah. Now well. he's got pre better than pre nerf buzzard. Oh man, that was actually pretty weird. <laughs> I mean, he wouldn't play that. He's got big combos now. He just has to pick up unleash the hounds. Uh, Web Lord. Let's see. Does he actually have an effect? Actually, if you play with Web Lord and uh, game will, uh, and it will not die till turn six or seven. Boom is unplayable. Yeah, I, I say you ride. Oh yeah, that's true. I say you ride uh, this this hunger crab all the way home. Three four, pretty good. One mana. Also, priest is the class to benefit off angry chicken to buff it with health, so it takes damage and becomes legit. I think card. it happened to me one time last week. I played against the hunter. <laughs> I just ignored the chicken. He hound yeah. mastered it, and I, I died pretty fast. though. It, I don't know. Yeah. See, what, you know what's also really amusing is like Blizzard really wanted to nerf Buzzard into Oblivion. Yeah. So they like, so they they, like they they not only took it from two mana to five mana, <laughs> but they felt the need to compensate it by giving it plus one plus one. It's like, <laughs> thanks Blizzard. <laughs> I <laughs> guess maybe I'll consider playing it. There's like, well, we don't want to make it feel like super awful, so we'll give it plus one plus one. It's actually funny how it works. Right? <laughs> like not touching a. It's like, why even bother? Just make it a zero one. We're not touching a card for months and like, yeah. okay, let's make it unplayable then. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I say why stop there? Make it a 1-0 so whenever it comes in the battlefield, it dies immediately. That's true. I mean, that's kind of giving it the exact treatment it deserves. Oh, waiting so long. Leroy? Even golden Leroy. Yeah. Actually, the right way to nerf it was uh, like to, to change it uh, uh, so Unleash will not draw your cards. Only minions. That's true. And yeah. I cannot spell. But actually oh, you mean in terms of the actual nerf? Yeah. Okay, I thought we were still being kind of cheeky, but <laughs> there's our crab, bro. Wow! If only hungry crabs can eat other hungry crabs. <coughs> Cobra shot. It's, it's actually divided. not bad here, right? Yeah. It's now he's good. got the board. And where's the Undertaker? Good old times when he was scary. I don't. I don't miss Undertaker at all. I don't, I don't miss this card at all. And we will yeah, see. I, coin I haven't written to him in a long coin time. Coin GG. That is not fair. Come on, like, why was this fair? He had, like, Malganus and Dr. Boom. What did he pay? Fugin. Oh. No, that's not I enough. mean, that makes sense if he has Feign Death in his deck. But he gets the Undertake buff. Oh, that's true. He also has the Death Rattle Synergy. Like, he, like I don't know. Purple is just not getting through with his Maligos Hunter strategy, I guess. Actually, Purple's Hungry Crab is a little bit too late. I hope he takes Maligos. Oh, and oh. He, he steals, wow, the, he steals is, the crab. But he has no spells. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you still take the Maligos. Wailing, Wailing so, so <laughs> make, <laughs> make Dr. Boom actually uh. balanced here. Want to see that? Yeah. I mean, if you see it like th that, Dr. Boom is actually a 9 9, which gives you like a flame strike, which does 8 damage to the face. Yeah. yeah. Either sets up for Leafer or clears the board if you could die. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, you see it like that. Well, that's a flare. Flare doesn't do anything really here. Rifleman. No, it doesn't. You can't even play it because it costs too much. It's like the, the Rappler is really good, actually. He's doing work. Is um, Divine Spirit on the web Weblord? Oh, no. I, don't, I wouldn't mind. I guess he just wants to play some of his other cards that have Battle Cry, though. Because Z-Cop, again, he's a tryhard. 
So next turn, Maligos into... I don't know, he needs like kind of a spell. Maybe he can clear it. I say you play everything. How much damage does he take? Like 12, 15, 14, 17? Actually, Iko is uh, one of the most experienced players in this format. I, uh, we played uh, fun tournaments with him and he, will, he won three in a row. Oh, sick. W with oh. like five or six people. That was not a bad shot. That could have landed onto the 2-2, the but it was all right. So in a fire, need it, right? Huh? How much time that? Uh, he has nine. Why Boom is not Mac? Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah, Even yeah. though it kind of looks robotic, but it's you know very much along with the spiders. Dr. Like Boom was a mag, it was actually even more broken. Oh, mag priest. Didn't now it would be like 7 uh, 18, I guess, if it would be mag. Alright, he needs to get uh, the. Oh, I was gonna, what was the one mana spell for Hunter that does damage? Um, Arcane Shot? Arcane Shot. I guess correct. so, yeah. Well, Let him win, Ecop. Come on, Ecop, that's not fair. Let him win! Actually, Deadly Shot worked. Like 50 50. Let, let him draw a spell with Mally Ghost. <laughs> wow, Purple's <laughs> Actually, having a lot of fun, guys. <laughs> he always has. He, he's he's oh, having the no. time of his life. Don't. Don't. <laughs> yes. Yes. No! no! Come on. And this is why everybody what? hates Ecop. Oh, come <laughs> on. Down <Dance> game. <laughs> that was fun games overall. Well, still a great series. I of course, like we, don't, we, we, we don't hate Ecop. Just a Twitch chat. <laughs> Uh, Ecop, Ecop actually is very familiar with playing unusual decks. In fact, uh, one of the most insightful things I've ever done was to sit down with Ecop and draft an arena deck, because he was able to open up insight onto like what cards were actually decent. And uh, people don't really peg Ecop as a good arena player, but he's actually fantastic. Yeah, I watched him sometimes. Al almost like almost comparable to his constructed skills, I would say. Hey, anyways, Ecop, go. Yeah, how are you doing, man? So Ecop. How does it feel to finally be in a winner's interview? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> didn't I have one? Uh, oh, that's three? right. You you beat um, six zero. Six zero. That's true. That's right. Come on, don't you forget? Dang about it! That. that burn was a lot funnier in my head then. Yeah. All right. Well, um, you know, hey, that was pretty good. Although you did manage to get Doctor Boom, <laughs> yeah. and you also had some pretty sick combos with Malganus and the demons and sense demons. So. Seemed like you tried a little bit harder than Purple for that show match. Yeah, I guess my collection was just better than his. It was. In fact, uh, Purple only had four playable classes because the other five weren't yeah. even leveled <laughs> up. They were like 10 out of 20 basic cards. Yeah. So he didn't have that option. Serious question, Ikup. All right. Why are you try hiding in the fun tournaments? I don't know. I just like the fun tournaments more. That's why I try harder there. Wow. <laughs> Good answer. Were you uh, were you really good at different formats in WoW TCG? Because I know um, they did have limited and uh, yeah. other folks were ma like drafts and stuff. So what was like the format that you were best or even th that you liked the most? Oh, there were plenty of different formats and a lot of fun formats. Most of them were not played competitively, but um, like I enjoyed um, formats where creative deck building was rewarded. For example, Highlander, uh, where you can only play one card, one copy of each card in your yeah. deck and. Okay, in Hearthstone it's not that great, uh, but it's still like uh, I also played some Highlander in Hearthstone. It's actually kind of fun, even though the deck's kind of yeah. kind of fun. Yeah, <laughs> it, <laughs> you it, think it's so? like Control Warriors. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, and of course, um, I mean, yeah, I'm no, I know I'm known for uh, being good in many different formats. I, I mean, I've, I've started as an arena player basically, mm -hmm. so That's I cool. played a lot of arena in the, at first and uh, then switched to ranked. Yeah. Yeah, we played together fun tournaments. I guess if you remember, remember? if you yeah, want to get like overall a good player, you have to be good, like in all diversities. Like there's so much fun stuff that you can do with Hearthstone. It's just amazing, and yeah. um, I I just wish that there were more tournaments. Um, for example, arena tournaments, but also stuff like Challenge Stone. And I'm really looking forward to the next Challenge Stone, which is happening soon. It was as a well, great right? tournament, right? Yeah, I mean, Challenge Stone was awesome. Yeah, I watched it. It was like uh, it's something new, and like it just is just such a breath of breath of fresh air to see yeah. uh, something. Uh, it's just fun to watch and it's fun to play as well as the player. So everyone gets it. Uh, everyone gets. Um, his I like it as it. well. I, I just it's so, and so cool. Like getting some fresh air in the Hearthstone scene. Totally. It's like um, not always watching get in here all the time. I don't know. It's at some point you just want to see something new, right? Yeah. Some people like yeah. don't like watching best of five conquests every fucking turn. Yeah. <laughs> <that's true. laughs> I mean, it's reasonable, right? Everyone's. Well, it's okay. No one from Blizzard's oh. here for this tournament, so you, I guess you can get away with that. What were you saying, Nairia? Everyone wants to see creativity from people, so this uh, formats like that. Well, half the fun 
in card games, or yeah. these kinds of card games, is watching the, the deck come together and, and finding out how the pieces work together. So I agree with that, and that's that's partially why I enjoy that as well. Well, congratulations, Ecom. You Thank won. you very much. Um, is there anybody like to thank to help you get this victory? Oh, first of first and foremost, I'd like to thank my man upstairs, Aaron Jesus. And that's right. Yeah, Looking I mean, out for number one. Without him, I would have never gotten Doctor Balance and Malganis. <laughs> That's right. Well, keeper he, did the, you? The innkeeper. Did yeah, the innkeeper put it in your deck. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, he, he knew you could you, you could definitely use that for the morale pickup. But uh, good job overall. Uh, and that concludes, I guess, our little fun shenanigans uh, segment. We were stalling for time until round seven match drawing. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. In the meantime, uh, we're gonna figure out all the matches. I believe our first one will be Profix versus Chalky. This is the round seven. It's it's actual time for constructed guys. It's not more show yeah. matches. So we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to continue the Swiss for the final round of the 128-man pool. <laughs>